Good evening, everyone. Father Marshall Shelley here. I am in the midst of bringing up the live feed, flying solo tonight, but uh, happy to uh, hang out with you all and to offer up the evening office. So welcome home to St. Peter's. Please like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and hit the bell for notifications of when we're posting content. If you are watching on Facebook Live, please uh, do follow us and include your intercessions and thanksgivings in the comments sections on both platforms. If it is in the case of the live broadcast, we make sure we offer them at the appropriate time at the end of this office. And if it's for the case of the YouTube delay upload, then we will offer it at morning prayer tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. As you may notice, I am actually offering the office from my house. Unfortunately, my wife and I tested positive for COVID, so we're quarantining right now. We're happy to extend the hospitality of the church virtually again from our home, and we're happy to have you here. All right, we are ready for evening prayer. Here we go. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 12 through 14 together. Help, O Lord, for there is no longer anyone who is godly. The faithful have disappeared from humankind. They utter lies to each other with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, the tongue that makes great boasts. Those who say, with our tongues we will prevail, our lips are our own. Who is our master? Because the poor are despoiled, because the needy groan. I will now rise up, says the Lord. I will place them in the safety for which they long. The promises of the Lord are promises that are pure, silver refined in a furnace on the ground, purified seven times. You, O Lord, will protect us. You will guard us from this generation forever. On every side, the wicked prowl as vileness is exalted among humankind. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Fools say in their hearts, there is no God. They are corrupt. They do abominable deeds. There is no one who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on humankind to see if there are any who are wise who seek after God. They have all gone astray. They are all alike perverse. There is no one who does good, no, not one. Have they no knowledge, all the evildoers who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon the Lord? 
there shall be there there they shall be in great terror for god is with the company of the righteous you would confound the plans of the poor but the lord is their refuge oh that deliverance for israel would come from zion when the lord restores the fortunes of his people jacob will rejoice israel will be glad glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen a reading from the acts of the apostles in caesarea there was a man named cornelius a centurion of the italian cohort as it was called he was a devout man who feared god with all his household he gave alms generously to the people and prayed constantly to god one afternoon at about three o'clock he had a vision in which he saw clearly an angel of god coming in and saying to him cornelius he stared at him in terror and said what is it lord he answered your prayers and your alms have ascended as a memorial before god now send men to joppa for a certain simon who is called peter he is lodging with simon a tanner whose house is by the seaside when the angel spoke to him when the angel who spoke to him had left he called two of his slaves and a devout soldier from the ranks of those who served him and after telling them everything he sent them to joppa about noon the next day, as they were on their journey and approaching the city, Peter went up on the roof to pray. He became hungry and wanted something to eat, and while it was being prepared, he fell into a trance. He saw the heaven opened and something like a large sheet coming down, being lowered to the ground by its four corners. In it were all kinds of four-footed creatures with reptiles and birds of the air. Then he heard a voice saying, get up, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, by no means, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is profane or unclean. The voice said to him again a second time, what God has made clean, you must not call profane. This happened three times, and the thing was suddenly taken up to heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Matthew. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, Jesus continued. For you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but on the inside they are full of the bones of the dead and all kinds of filth. So you also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you testify against yourselves that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your ancestors, you snakes, you brood of vipers. How can you escape from being sentenced to hell? Therefore I send you prophets, sages, and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will flog in your synagogues and pursue from town to town that upon you may become all the righteous blood shed on earth and from the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah son of Berechiah whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar truly I tell you all this will come upon this generation Jerusalem Jerusalem the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it how often have I desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings and you are not willing see your house is left to you desolate for i tell you you will not see me again until you say blessed is the one who comes in the name of the lord the word of the lord thanks be to god 
our second canticle, the Song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all generations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, you have taught us to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbor. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart and united to one another with pure affection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. We pray for healing for all those who experienced harm due to mass shootings, particularly in Highland Park, Philadelphia, and Denmark. We pray for peace in our country and around the world where there is war, especially in Ukraine. We pray for healing for those who are sick, recovering from surgery, or seeking a path into deeper healing because they have grown weary of addiction or poor choices that they have made in this life. May they be healed and made whole. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. 
and we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for evening prayer. It was an honor to close the day with you. We will see you again tomorrow at 9 a.m. for morning prayer as well. Keep an eye peeled for our rector's vlog and blog and the e-news. And of course, we look forward to the weekend. We have women's breakfast on Saturday, the regular shop hours. Of course, we have Christmas in July going on throughout. Tomorrow, Alice's Cup Food Pantry is open as well as we're continuing to support our ministry and missions. There'll be some tending of the garden. There'll be some work on the property. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday at 9 a.m. Please do take care and God bless. Like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.